Okay. All right. That was 0.25. A rectangle that's 0.25. By 0.25. So I guess it's a square. <laughs> you got to tell them step by step what you're doing. So... Now I've got my 0.25 by 0.25. So he dimensioned it. Yeah. And then I will take a line going from here all the way over this way. Um, how far was that? 0.675. Because the... Uh, distance of the um, the radius of the widest the diameter. widest the widest point of the smoke stack the radius is 0 0.675 oh, and then you just, oh. so then I took that one and then I made another line from there going up One point seven five. Hit done. I'm just trying to get a better view. Right. Alright, and um then I went where they connect and I made a line. Starting. No, and then I made another line, right, or point, I guess, along here. Where's the pass? And I dimensioned it so yeah, that it is um, 1.5 away. So then I made let's see, a line going from up here down to there, just in a basic area. And then I dimensioned the angle from this bottom line to that line. So find that angle. And I made it 75. So why did you do 75? Because, because it's 15 uh, degrees. So 90 minus 15 is 75. Catch that? No. Well, you'll watch it on YouTube. Okay. Say it one more time, Kyle. How you got 75. Okay, so I um, dimensioned the line to 75 because the angle is 15 degrees. It tells us right there, Jarrett, on your drawing, that the angle is 15 degrees. And uh, 90 minus 15 is 75. See, 15 degrees. So 90 minus 15 was 75. So then I dimensioned the distance from here to there. And I wanted that to be... Um, Wait, no, I meant, I dimensioned the distance from there to right there. And I need that to be one point, or point, point six, point six two five. Hold up, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, he's going back, he's making a modification. Alright, so my line, I'm back to where I made that line. And I'm gonna make it more close to exact. There we go. And now I'll dimension that to be 75, like I did. <coughs> So 
So now it just moves. No, no, no. Don't you want 0. 0.75? No, 75 degrees. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing Nate was thinking just now. I was like, uh. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to go from there to there. And I want that to be 1.5, I think. All right. Yeah, 1.5. Now why 1.5? Because it says 1.5. Okay. And then I will go from here to here and make that 0.65. So now that is the line that I need for that diagonal up at the top. The chamfer. Yeah, the chamfer. Yeah. So now I just make a line going from here all the way into there, that corner. And then I make, let's see. Cool. Um, this is cool too. Well, I like yours because it brings the lock into play because you need that during the cow catcher. And I, I didn't either. That's awesome. Well, wouldn't you just... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how. Well, couldn't you now just go finish off the top, do a revolve, and then do the counterboard? Yeah, you could. I, yeah. I did it a way where oh. I just did the final thing. Yeah, no, I know exactly what I you're talking about. Go ahead. I think that top was 1.2. Yep. Go wide. One second. Oh, um, because from the top of there into here, it was 0. 0.575 or something like that, I think. Now there's several steps that you could do here. Yeah. You got to decide: Are you going to actually figure out the lines and do the revolve, or should you do a revolve yeah, and it's solid and that. then do the counter bore? Either way. So then I just finish that off. Finish the sketch. So now razzle dazzle us. Revolve that and that around that. Boom. See how he did that? Wait, okay, now he can do the counter bore just like how Daniel did. So yeah. let's do the counter bore. All right. Then I have to go back to create sketch. Create sketch. Hey, go go over to create sketch again. Go down, right there. There you go. It's not, it's not catching it, is it? Why isn't it here? Hit done. Huh. Uh, go. Weird. Okay, go to extrude. That. What is going on? There we go. There we go. Uh, it's still not. I don't know why it's not doing it. Mess with that. See what's happening. Okay. Oh, I think I know what I did. Um, I took this line, or I made a point. Not there. down here and then dimensioned it so that it was
What are you changing? Point one eight seven five. I think that's right. Well, and then uh, I made that line going up. Was that point one or one point one two five? Was it not letting him? Uh, was it not letting him go back to two D sketch to put the center point in? No. It wasn't gonna let you do it. I wonder if something's going on with the graphics card. Um. But it should have allowed him to go back to 2D Sketch and click on the surface to put his work plan. And this is going to be 0.25. And then you use that and bring it up that works. to there. That'll work. So then I can finish the sketch. That's really weird that it what is up with this? wouldn't do that. Why did it just automatically go I don't there? know. Go back. Alright, now, now finish sketch. Oh, I don't want it to do that. No. It all, for some reason it already devol evolved. Just go to finish sketch. Let me see what Well, it happens. automatically revolves. It automatically revolves. All right. Um, weird. Okay. If it's doing that, let's go to the sur let's go to the Dude. surface and put a work plane. All right. I see where you're going. Now revolve. And then I'm going to revolve it. That. There we go. Oh, that one. That and that. Axis. Now let's look at it. There we go. That's two ways. All right, let's give it up for Kyle. Nice job, Kyle.